Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Donald Trump said he'll probably end up debating Kamala Harris and slam the Democrats for what he calls a coup to replace Joe Biden. Harris has accused Trump and his campaign of backtracking on the presidential debate set for September 10th on ABC. While the Trump campaign has previously said that they're waiting to be sure Harris is actually the candidate after how quickly the Democrats replaced Biden, he admitted he will likely debate Harris. I want to do a debate, but I also can say this, everybody knows who I am and now people know who she is, he said. She's a radical left lunatic, she'll destroy our country. When pressed as to why not put that information out on the debate stage, Trump said that everybody already knows. Fox News' Laura Ingram suggested that Democrats might say that he's afraid of debating. He then restated his previous debate triumphs in 2016 and 2020 before revealing some of his terms. The answer is yes, I'll probably end up debating. I think the debates should take place before the votes start being cast. He said that his second debate against Biden went great but that too many early votes had already been cast. So the answer is yes, but I can also make a case for not doing it, Trump added. Trump is not necessarily committing to the terms of the debate as originally set because he doesn't want ABC News to benefit from it. I don't like rewarding fake news. They're gonna make tens of millions of dollars with this debate. I don't like that ABC's gonna get rich before mentioning his frequent target, anchor George Stephanopoulos, whom he refers to as Slopadopoulos. Trump praised CNN and Jake Tapper, saying they had been very fair to him during the first debate with Biden in June. He then revealed that maybe the CNN debate was a mistake because he claimed he'd beat Biden so badly that was the end of him. You could see that he was not going to make it anymore. Now we have Harris. I would rather run against her. In a statement on Monday, Harris's campaign said she will be there for a debate on September 10th hosted by ABC, which had previously been agreed to by Trump and Biden. The American people deserve to hear from the two candidates running for the highest office in the land and she will do that at September's ABC debate, they said. If Donald Trump and his team are saying anything other than, we'll see you there, and it appears that they are, it's a convenient, but expected backtrack from Team Trump. Vice President Harris will be there on September 10th, we'll see if Trump shows. At one point last week, Trump said he was ready and willing to take on Harris in a debate after she was anointed as his new opponent. On Tuesday, in a briefing call with reporters, he dismissed Harris's ability as a campaigner and said he was ready to debate her more than once. I'd want to, he said. I think it's important. Trump also repeated his recent claim that Joe Biden and his former boss Barack Obama don't like one another and that his predecessor engaged in a coup against Biden. That was a coup on an American president. Obama doesn't like Biden, and he doesn't like Obama. Trump then said he believed recent reporting that suggested that Biden was threatened with the 25th Amendment and removal from office. That's what happened, we'll do it the easy way or the hard way. Trump also went into detail about how his wife Melania experienced the recent attempt on the former president's life. It comes as Harris has seen a recent boost in the polls in a, a honeymoon phase after replacing Biden on the ticket. According to a new ABC News slash Ipsos poll, Harris's favorability rating among Americans hit 43% in late July. It's a sharp increase from its 35% before Biden exited the race. Her unfavorable rating was 42%, down from 46% before Biden dropped out. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, who serves as co-chair of the Harris campaign, shed more light on the timeline in which Harris is expected to pick a running mate. Everything's truncated, and she's going to make that decision probably in the next six seven days, Harris said. I imagine we'll know who her running mate is. It comes as the Democratic National Convention is coming up later next month, but Democrats have a August 7th deadline to nominate their candidates to make sure they get on the ballot.